Fresno Unified is in the heart of the San Joaquin Valley in Central California. It is the fourth largest school district in the state of California behind uh, Los Angeles, San Diego, and Long Beach. We're about 67% Hispanic, 11% Asian, and then 10% white and 9% uh, African American. We are the launching pad for students to get up and out of poverty, and we take that quite seriously. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? Pato amarillo, pato amarillo, que veo aquí, miro acá. When we first started working with the Early Learning Lab, they asked us, um, think about what you most need our help in. You know, so really look at your data, look at your statistics, look at see what the needs are here. And the area that rose to the top immediately was our dual language learners. Buenos dias, como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? Hola, Katy. Buenos dias. Early in the field, we were talking a lot about English language learners. That was the title they would use to describe children that came from homes where the home language was not English. Back then, they say that my daughter was behind because she had a second language, that I have to teach her English at home. Some parents did not want to uh, use their home language as often because they felt that maybe it will hinder them from learning English. What has um, really changed over the years is the fact that we've come to learn how valuable it is to speak more than one language. So that the goal is that you're gonna become a true dual language citizen of the world. And I think one thing that's really exciting about the dual language le learner focus in Fresno is that I think that we in early childhood have spent far too little time on really cracking that nut if you really want to serve the kids of California and the country, we've got to figure this out. The Fresno Language Project is a project developed by community um, partners in Fresno to address the issues around dual language learners. Everyone in Fresno has talked about it. It was the most amazing example of cross-sector collaboration. We have the, the school district that runs programs for children birth to five. Then we have Head Start here in the Central Valley, which is run through the Economic Opportunity Commission. We're also working with Children's Services Network, which supports the childcare community here in Fresno. And then to think together about how we'd construct an experiment or an approach to trying something new. I just have enjoyed doing this with my kids, and my kids are three. So teachers and providers are coming alone together for the same reason. We were able to learn about what Head Start does and the role that they serve, which is very different than a school district. We were able to learn about what licensed home providers do and that role they serve and, and the asset they bring. It was liberating because I didn't have to have all the answers. Actually, I could learn from them. Como estas? How are you? See the family? The papa? The mommy? Hermana, Hermano, Hermana sister, Hermano brother, brother. I learned that implementing their home language helps them develop English faster. I knew it was important, but I didn't have any tools of how to implement it in the classrooms. However, once I went to the training, I learned the importance of it. I began to um, use both languages. In the bathroom, there's uh, steps in Spanish and English for how to wash your hands. Also, there's labels uh, in my classroom with English and Spanish. So I feel like it gave me empowerment because it made me a better teacher and I had another skill that I learned. One, two, three, four, five, seis, siete, ocho. I had another, another idea about reading. You sit down, you read. Now it's just differently because you have to listen to the kids' conversation. You make face inflection and you talk about what you're reading and you connect with the book, with the kids, with the children. If someone kicks you, what can you do? Say sorry. Uh-huh. Kicking hurts. I was so sad when they said, we're not going to see each other no more. That's the end. And I said, oh, 
And then they say, no, we're going to be here. You know, still we're going to be here for you guys if you need help. Fresno is the mirror or microcosm for what California is going to look like 10 to 15 years downstream. That the rest of California will look more like Fresno in 15 years than Fresno will look like the rest of California today. Innovation isn't always about a brand new idea. Innovation can be about how do we make that idea work in a specific community, and we have to innovate. A key component of this is really making the teachers uh, the agents of change, and that they themselves are able to understand what they're trying, what's not working, and then to be architects. We have to work people and bring them up to the system who represent these communities. I think that is not just symbolic, but it is necessary. Mm -hmm.